Here's a project that we just finished up. This is a five gallon bucket garden or a stand for five gallon buckets um, for starting your plants or whatever you prefer to do with it. Uh, this was a pretty simple little uh, project here. It's all made out of two by fours. And as you can see, it's gonna be pretty handy for out in the garden. We're gonna be able to start plants in it or just grow plants in it, you know, maybe some onions or potatoes or things of that nature. Um, we could probably grow some herbs in one and some other stuff in another and, you know, a lot of possibilities here. So um, saw some pictures of these things on the internet and thought we'd give it a try and it was a much easier project than we thought. So that's why I thought we'd take the time here to um, share with you how we built this thing and just how easy it is. Now this entire thing is made out of two by fours and here's a list of the lengths of 2x4s that you will need and the quantity. You're going to need 7 2x4s cut 55 inches long, 1 2x4 52 inches long, 4 2x4s that are 31 inches long, 4 2x4s that are 25 and a half inches long, 2 2x4s that are 19 inches long, and 2 of them that are 12 inches long. And on the other side of our list here you can see we have 2 and a half inch screws, a drill or an impact driver, something to run the screws in, a tape measure, and you're definitely going to need a saw to be able to cut your 2x4s. Um, then in black, these are things that would be handy to have, but you don't necessarily have to have them. And that would be a square, clamps, especially if you're working by yourself, and paint if you're going the route that we're going and using just regular 2x4s instead of pressure-treated 2x4s. We're using a cobalt radial arm saw that we got at Lowe's, and we like to use this because it just gives you some nice square cuts. Um, you could use a circular saw, you could use a hand saw, you could use the radial arm saw like we're using, you could use a table saw. Really, whatever you have available, it's going to give you a pretty decent cut through your 2x4. So here's our lumber, all cut up and stacked up, nice and neat. And we're going to get ready to start putting this thing together. And what you want to do is you want to start by putting the side pieces together first. So we'll show you where the pieces go. And uh, it'll be pretty simple after you get the two side pieces together. So this is how the ends are going to go together. You're going to have your two 31-inch pieces. They're going to be your uprights. You'll have a 12-inch piece going across the top. And you're going to have a 25 and a half inch piece going across in the middle. And another 25 and a half inch piece going across the, at the bottom. Then at the front, you're going to have a 19 inch piece there. And you can see out there we have the dimension of 12 and a quarter inches from the top of that 25 and a half inch 2x4 down to the top of the other 25 and a half inch 2x4. And that 25 and a half inch 2x4 in the top is flush with the top of the 19 inch 2x4 that is used for the front leg. So after you build one side piece, then you want to build the second one but the second one will face the opposite direction of the one you just built. So if you lay them on the ground, they would be facing each other. Once you have both side pieces built, then you can start attaching your 55 inch length 2x4s across the front, across the back, and across the top. Then the 52 inch long 2x4 will go in the middle and you can see that it runs inside of the main frame of this 5 gallon bucket stand. The last two 55-inch 2x4s you have, they are what the 5-gallon buckets will sit on. And after you have the frame built, you can attach them. Now, it's not a real crucial uh, measurement as to where to place them, but you want them to be in a spot where your buckets won't be leaning forward or leaning backward. And after your frame is all together and secured, then it's time to add your 5-gallon buckets. Now, we went out to our local Ace Hardware store, and we just picked up eight brand new ones. Uh, these here were like four bucks a piece at our local Ace Hardware store. So uh, we knew we were starting with nice, fresh, clean buckets, and we knew that there hadn't been anything nasty or uh, toxic in them. So uh, it was worth the, you know, less than $35 that we paid for these eight new buckets. So that's it. That's all it took for us to build this five-gallon bucket garden stand here. Um... You know, a couple of things I should tell you is, uh, number one, we did not use a square. We just lined everything up, basically eyeballed it, and screwed it together. And on this cement floor, which is pretty level, uh, this thing does not wobble or wiggle at all. If you put yours together and it's not completely square and true, don't get frustrated. You're putting this thing outside more than likely. 
you know, it's going to sink into the ground. Uh, you're going to be able to level it up even if you're not putting it outside. You can level it up later. The main objective here is to have something to grow your plants in. So don't beat yourself up if you're not a carpenter. I, for one, am a terrible carpenter. This turned out really good by luck. <laughs> you know, number two, as we said earlier, we went with the regular two by fours and we'll paint it or stain it, you know, because I just didn't want to pay the extra money for the pressure treated two by fours. Probably should have, but with all the lumber shortages and the high prices for pressure treated lumber, just didn't bother going that route. Number three is spend the money and get some good outdoor rated screws. Don't go cheap and get the indoor drywall screws, the really thin ones or anything like that. Get some good hefty screws that are going to hold up to the weather. These are the two and a half inch screws we got here. Um, they're available at your local hardware stores. You know, they're nothing real fancy or exotic, but they do cost a little bit more than your regular old chintzy drywall screws. Just a recommendation for us. Um, you know, you, you don't want the thing just falling apart later on down the road because your screws rusted apart from being out in the rain. Now, if you're saying this would be the perfect thing for me because I don't have room to grow a garden, but I don't have any way to haul this lumber home to build this. Um, check like Lowe's and Home Depot and places like that. I know that Lowe's has a delivery program. And the last time I checked, it was only like 60 or 70 bucks worth of stuff you had to buy for them to deliver it for free, you know, within a certain mile radius. So till you buy the two by fours to do this, especially if they're pressure treated and the buckets and then throw in the screws, you're going to be there at that, that price point, if not higher. Um, you know, if, if Lowe's does it, I'm sure Home Depot has some kind of program where they'll deliver to you. Check your local Ace Hardware stores. You know, if they have a lumber yard, um, you know, there's a good chance that they'll deliver for you. They might charge you a little bit, but hey, you know, having this and paying an extra, you know, 20 or 30 bucks even to get this stuff delivered to your door if you have no way to haul it is worth it for the money you're going to save by growing your own plants, uh, especially if you're growing a bunch of vegetables in there. So don't let little things like that hold you back. Uh, it's a pretty simple and straightforward uh, project. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a real convenient setup for anybody who is looking to grow their own vegetables. So that's why we decided to share this with you. We look forward to using ours, and we hope that uh, you like this little project we did here, and we've inspired you to go out there and build your own. So that does it for this video. As always, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and thank you for watching.